Okay. Today we're going to do another unboxing of um, a collector's edition. This time it's for Skyrim for PlayStation 3. Such a terrific game. Um, you all should uh, play this game. Um, we'll start off with a box. Um, this is the box that came along with it. It's a huge box. So if you're purchasing this on eBay, don't be surprised if they charge you a lot for shipping. It's like I said, it's a gigantic box because the figure itself is big. And now we're going to take a look at the artwork. Terrific artwork as well. It goes around all over the box. It's just seamless. Looks like the world of Skyrim um, pretty much sums it up. Um, because this game is all about open world. So I guess this is what they're, uh, they're um, portraying in this box. And at the back, pretty cool artwork as well. So you can see here on the left hand side, this is all what's inside this collector's edition. Pretty much sums it up. Some quick um, description of what you what to expect on this game. And I believe this is the character that they are advertising uh, as far as uh, I guess the main hero of the game. You can, you can customize your own character. It's one of those games where you choose your path. But yeah, as you can see here, this is what's inside the collector's edition. The dragon itself, Alduin, so a map, uh, the game itself, and a pretty uh, neat looking, I would say, it's, it's, it's an art book, but it looks like a, you know, it's, it's a really cool art book. Um, speaking of which, we'll start off with that. Uh, this is the art book that comes along with it. I was kind of surprised that it's a full on book it's it's huge it's not one of those kind of like in halo 3 or or assassin's creed that it's half the size it's kind of like a booklet this is a full size book uh it has 200 pages of just awesome artwork and some concept arts description of the characters so there's a lot of time that you can spend on just you know picking up this book and going through the pictures uh the design of the book itself is is pretty cool it has a leather feel on it i'm not sure if it's real leather or not and the logo was embossed uh, embossed in the front um, and it has some old look on the book so you can see here there's some dust and speckles on the book also on the side there's some carvings i believe it's the dragon words i guess that's what you call it i haven't finished the game it's i haven't even gone far with the game but some pretty uh, pretty good details on the art book now we're gonna move on to uh, the game case I'm kind of disappointed that the case is not a steel book other um, rather it was a cardboard box which could easily get torn if you, um, you know, try to switch games all the time so I recommend that if you do have this try to get a separate case where you can put your game so you don't have to uh, get this case all the time because like I said it's made out of cardboard easy to get torn so you can see that is the bonus disc that has some exclusive interviews with the creators and stuff this is the map that uh, comes along with the game pretty cool map um, the world of Skyrim out there and this would be the, the standard manual that you know, it, it's nothing special whatsoever from the regular version of the game now we're going to move on to uh, the statue which is what this collector's edition is all about um alduin pretty cool statue as you can see we'll start off with the base it has the dragon words on it the one that you learn i guess throughout the game it has some old look feel on this on this base it looks like it's sitting the dragon sitting on a stone inscribed with those um those dragon words and here slowly we're panning up to um, Alduin, which is uh, the main dragon on the game. Um, a lot of details on this uh, figure. Pretty, pretty cool looking figure. Um, the attention to detail that they put on this one is just phenomenal. And we'll, we'll go into, um, you know, some of the finer, I guess, details on this one as we move along. But as you can see, the dragon kind of sits on this on this base. It comes in two parts, so the base itself is different from the dragon. You can take away the dragon if you want to. Um, disappoint. I was kind of disappointed about the base because it's it's made out of plastic, but it's really really light. Um, it looks like I mean from the pictures, it looks like it has some weight on it, but it probably weighs not maybe like a pound or so. 
but the dragon itself, Alduin, has some some pretty solid weight into him. And the way they put up is those claws that you see that um, kind of hooks on the this claw right here that hooks onto the base. There's only one way of putting it, so you're uh, you're not gonna make any mistakes. So you can see one of his wings. Um, you can see some battle damage. Um, looks like this dragon has been through a lot. You know, he has some holes in his in his uh, wings even the texture on the skin so you got to be careful though if you have kids at home um, especially if they're really young ones you might want to keep this away from them because his scales as you can see it's kind of pointy and sharp it's i wouldn't say it's gonna cut you but it's gonna hurt a kid if they you know play around with it not being too careful and as you can see here we're gonna take a closer look on his face the details on his teeth and his red eyes you know it looks like he's ready to pounce some really really solid um figure every little scale has uh some textures or different patterns on them um even the, his claw his other wing is different from his uh, left wing you know some some holes in it but it it just feels the overall feel of this dragon is just it's, it's great feels like it shouldn't be in a collector's edition of a game now we're gonna do the back side because um it's it's it's, it's an, as impressive as the overall figure just you can see here the, the overall details at the back of his wing some damage and like you said uh, like i said there's some um, bumps and bruises on his wings even the back side of his scale is popping out it looks like he has really really solid hard skin that represents him very well from uh from his uh character in the game see here that those are the claws that kind of sits on top of the the rock base and there you go folks um that is the overall contents of this skyrim collector's edition i hope you liked it hope you pick it up a uh, really good addition to your collection thank you for watching